What is up people, Matt here. So as you can tell by today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of impressions video on Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Um, now I have played Monster Hunter games before, I played the ones on the PSP, I played Monster Hunter 3 on the Wii U, and obviously now I've got this. Um, so I'm kind of going to be saying what's been improved more than kind of the whole gist of the game because it's just a lot easier that way. So for those of you that haven't played Monster Hunter before though, it's basically an action RPG kind of game where you go around doing different missions, hunting different monsters to get materials, to make new armor, make new weapons, upgrade your weapons, upgrade your armor. And it's that sort of game. So you get better armor, better weapons, hunt stronger monsters to get stronger weapons, and you know, that's how it goes. Um, now, with the three, with Monster Hunter 3 on the 3DS and the Wii U, you could play online with people, but it wasn't great. Now, I've had practically no problems when I'm playing online with people on the 3DS one which is pretty impressive you know I, usually I think a handheld wouldn't be very good online but pretty much no problems playing online on Monster Hunter 4 which is great now I'm a bit confused with one thing I can't quite understand why Monster Hunter 4 is actually on the 3DS because the very first Monster Hunter was on the PS2 then you had the Monster Hunters on the PSP then it went to the Wii U and the 3DS and now it's just the 3DS. Why? I thought you'd think that they would just continue putting them out on the Sony consoles and I don't know, maybe they could have done it where they should have just had Monster Hunter 4 on the 3DS and the PS Vita. Maybe because the Vita doesn't sell so well now that they've kind of been put off it, I don't know. Um, but that's just a bit weird for me, but you know, it is what it is. So how has Monster Hunter 4 improved over its predecessors? Well, there's a couple of new features. Uh, for one, you can now climb up walls. Um, that has kind of various uses. So for, for example, uh, some monsters might cling to the wall. You know, you can jump off the wall and attack. You know, it's you can do you need to climb up some things to get to new areas and you know stuff like that and lead uh, kind of linking to climbing up the walls you can now jump off of a higher place and when you're falling if you attack whatever big monster you're hunting sometimes you actually mount hit, mount the monster and if you do enough damage or if you hit it enough times without it knocking you off you'll actually knock it over and it'll kind of be stunned for a while I don't know if anything out I don't know if it takes increased damage or anything like that but it, it kind of is it's, you know it's a mobile for a little while and you can go over there and hit it without worrying about anything which is a pretty cool feature um, but I mean other than that it's, it's Monster Hunter I mean there's not a lot more to say really um, I would definitely say this is probably the best one you know they seem to be improving it every time which is great to see obviously I can't attest to the very first one because I haven't actually played it but you know it seems that they, they, they're kind of just adding stuff on which is pretty much how, sequ how good sequels tend to do you just add more each time so you've got more stuff to do and that's pretty much the best way to handle it really I mean they can't go up and change everything about the game because it just wouldn't work but I mean if you like those action RPGs and you've got a 3DS you know if you've got a couple of mates with a 3DS as well and they're interested in that sort of thing if you all get it you can all go play together and that's pretty cool um, if you if you if you don't have anyone else with a 3DS you know that's totally fine you can play online no problem whatsoever um, yeah, and it's a fun game. It's a fun game to play on your own, although there are some bits where I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this on my own. So I jumped online and other people came in and we did it that way, which made it a lot easier. 
The interesting thing is um, when you're kind of on a mission, depending on how many people, other hunters you have with you, like the, the reward gets split. So if, say if you uh, say the mission reward was four thousand zenny, which is the currency in the game. If there was four of you, each of you would get a thousand each. Um, luckily, with monsters and kind of gathering the materials, um, when you kill the big monster, everyone gets their own material. So it's not like everyone's rushing to the monster t to take everything. It doesn't happen like that. Everyone gets their own, you know, share. So yeah, Monster Hunter Four is definitely a. It's a good game. Uh, I'm a bit confused about why it's called Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. There's not a Monster Hunter 4. And I know the only reason they added the Ultimate to the three to Monster Hunter 3 was because they had Monster Hunter try on the Wii and then they brought it to 3DS and the Wii U and called it Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Maybe they're just gonna maybe just shove the Ultimate in there for no I don't know what I don't know why they did it. Maybe they just did it just because but Yeah, anyway. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Bye now.